time for another installment of Oh My God. Hi, welcome to this week's Oh My God episode. I'm joined by Ben Mankiewicz and the seventh place winner of the Robert De Niro Lookalike Contest. It's former writer for The Daily Show, Steve Rosenfield is with us. Hey Steve, how are you? I do look kind of like him. It's He's always good when, the, when you, we, to have new people in the studio. Yes. <laughs> they're like, oh, that's funny. That, yeah. that is funny, kind of yeah. does look like that. All right, so let's go to Pat Robertson was asked a question. You know, people write in and they ask Pat Robertson advice. This is true. And then the woman reads it to him. She's a normal person. And then Pat Robertson is crazy. She has a question about burial. Somebody's afraid of, uh, let's listen. Okay, this is from Marlena who says, my mom is dying from a lung disease. She watched your show the other morning. When I arrived, she told me that you said the Bible says cremation is wrong. Well, here's the problem. Mom does not have money, nor do I, so cremation is our only option. Believe me, it breaks my heart to know she would rather be buried. And of course, that would be our first choice. Yet it would cost thousands of dollars we don't have. Now my mom believes that it would be wrong as a Christian to be cremated. I love my mom a lot, but wouldn't it also be wrong to go into major debt for years to give her a burial? What do I tell her? I think I think what you tell her is, yes, it would be wrong to do that. The person's dead. Go ahead and have a cremation. I'm sure God will understand, right? And understanding God would not want you to go into debt. You clearly love your mom. Right. You, you've gave it a shot, but it can't be done. And God didn't set up this uh, the funeral home uh, thing, nor right? Did, he did, by the way, nor did God write the Bible. Nor did God <laughs> write the Bible. <laughs> so what did he do? I don't, I don't know. What did he? Well, we're going to find, here's Pat Robertson's answer, what he sh uh, that lady should do. I'm sure that somewhere along the way you can find some mortician who would give you a, a discount burial and if you can't scrape up a couple thousand bucks, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> Throw you in the landfill, maybe. Yes, yes. Anyone with, that's just what Jesus told the beggars. Yeah, that's right. If you can't scrape up a couple thousand bucks, there's something wrong with you. That's what just like out of the mouth of Jesus. A yes. couple. Thousand bucks. Something wrong with you. Yes. Yeah, I'm sure her mom's going to take great comfort in that <laughs> answer. Thank you very much. So you he's see, saying that poor people are crazy. Yeah. Yes. Really the yes. Point? There's something wrong with them. Je hey, Jesus loved the poor, but not after they were dead. No. <laughs> no. That's all. Not you know, all that much. Uh, Pat, Pat says if you can't scrape up a couple of thousand bucks, there's something wrong with you. You know, Pat, not everybody can be build a media info. Try again. You know, Pat, <laughs> not everybody can build a media empire off the fear and ignorance of others. Why don't, why doesn't that woman just take some money for her African, from her African blood diamond mine? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, just do that. That'll work. Yeah. Uh, you know, because what Pat Robertson said was already ridiculously stupid and cruel before he got to the couple thousand dollars mark. Yeah. When he's like, I'm sure somewhere along the way you can find a mortician who'll give you a discount. It's a mortician. It's not a fucking Starbucks. There's probably right. one in town. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I'll just drive her across five states to find somebody who'll give me a break, and I'll bury her where no one from our family can ever go to the gravesite. <laughs> in a landfill well, or in something. In a landfill, you know. because it'll be a little cheaper. Throw her out the window. Yeah. There was this Italian guy in Jersey. He said he'd do it for me for $150. Yeah. Well, <laughs> just one more reason to look forward to Pat Robertson's funeral. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Well, I do. We got one more Pat Robertson. I just think real quick. I mean, yeah. I think that that's a Pat Robertson and clip that people should be talking about for yes. year, years and years. Like don't, yes. because that one will reach some people who were predisposed to believe him. They yeah. will see that and think, I don't have a couple thousand dollars and there's nothing wrong with me. I nothing couldn't save wrong. it. I worked all my life and guess what? I don't really have any savings. I live off my social security. You told me to believe in Jesus and I do and I respected you and now you're just being a dick. There's something wrong with you if you something don't have wrong. a couple of grand on you. Yeah. If you yeah, can't scrape up a couple of grand, there's something wrong. That's the message of Jesus. That's the Bible. That's what the Bible says. Right? The Bible says, and the leper came to me to get a couple grand and go see a doctor. Was there something wrong with you? Come on, get a couple grand. Go get a couple grand. There's something wrong with you. I'm Jesus-y. 